Hello, um, Holy Effect here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make splines in um, in the Panzoid Clip Maker number two. So I hope you enjoy. It's going to be pretty short. And yeah. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go under objects and you're going to add a shape, a rectangle. And we're going to put this in like three, both of the width and height. Um, you'll see why later. Or maybe one, just to make it more, you know. And um, they're going to have to be like that. Like, I don't know, in height they're going to be pretty big. I don't know, it depends on how thick you want your spline. So you go for the entrance. We're just going to animate just a single rectangle. So it's just going to come up. And it's going to be like, uh, like you know, like as if it were behaving like a spline. We're just going to animate it like that. And you'll see why later. We're gonna do that for a bit. Just a bunch of rotation and um, position keyframes. So, maybe here's where I want the spline to end, or. And yeah, this is probably where I want this line to end. So you're gonna do this, and you're going to uh, put this on zero. And now you're going to want to um get um get all of these um keyframes, including those ones. Only the rotation and position keyframes, not everything. Or and yeah, and these and depending on how if you want them or not um, and now you're going to want to duplicate your <coughs> rectangle and do this or there you go that and that see that now you have a kind of spline and you're also going to want to do some of those but with these two out of the way. <laughs> I'm gonna have to reselect all of these, but we'll see. We're gonna add some more until we're satisfied. So I'm not exactly satisfied with this. Um, it's gonna take a while since I decided to make them pretty um, complex on this one. So in order for it to be a good spline, the like key is what I have so far. See that that looks pretty nice. It's a spline, I guess. It kind of it's kind of messed up, but this is kind of how you make splines. You're just gonna keep duplicating that, and and it looks pretty cool. It's made of a clip maker, so it's pretty awesome. Um, one thing you might notice that it looks a little bit pixely. Uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, just duplicating my spline, making it cool. Like this. Uh, nice. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, how. If, if you notice that this looks a bit of a, pic a little bit pixely, you're going to want to put a bunch of entilizing. I mean, I don't know. Not if you're making, not if you're putting this straight in the intro. So I'd recommend putting it like with a, like one entire thing, one of them, just like that. Or no, no, actually two, two, two. Yeah, two looks cool. Now, let's say you make your splines. Um, so yeah, sometimes stuff like this happens. This little tail, but honestly, that probably kind of looks nice. <laughs> But that's how you make a spline. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. And uh, yeah, just in case you're wondering who discovered this, it was me. So I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> and yeah.